Teresa, so tell me and those that are listening what this missions trip has been for you as a GLTC student. It has been life changing. This is my very first missions trip and I'm so glad that God chose Haiti, my people, mm. for me to come to see. And just to know the background of Haiti and then to see the people that are so resilient, so strong and so loving and welcoming. It's just been a life changing experience. I'm so glad that I've been able to impart and impact and not only have I been here to pour, pour into them but they've also oh, yeah. poured into Always. me. Always. It's been a blessing to see how people can just keep going, keep pressing in, regardless of the circumstances and the situations. And so I have no reason to complain when I get back home <laughs> because I've seen what the human spirit and God's spirit can do. Amen. So when you said yes to come to GLTC, did you expect all of this? I did not expect all of this. And it's just been a blessing. But God always goes exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think. So it's such a powerful, powerful move of God's spirit to just see the people uh, receive us so well and see us respond to them so well. There's no boundaries in God's love and there's no boundaries in God's hand and we are God's hands in this land. So I thank God for the opportunity. I thank God for Dr. Pat and all that she's doing. Just what she's poured into us as students and that carries on into the land of Haiti. So we are we're just so tremendously blessed by it all. What would you say to the person that's watching, that's contemplating, thinking about going to GLTC, they're procrastinating like, oh, should I go? Should I not go? Is, you know, what's in it for me? Will I fit in? You know, how could I leave? my family and my home and you know just those that are maybe watching and want to be right where you are I said go for it don't put a lot of thought into it because when you start thinking with your mind you kind of push the spirit out the way just be led by God's spirit he is so faithful and there's nothing 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 that's, that he can't do so if there's any desire in your heart that desire comes from the Lord just follow it and go with it and God will prepare the way I had no resources of finances mm, that said, that him. dictated that I should take this, make this move, but I did it anyway because I heard God's voice said, go. He said, um, who will go for me? Mm -hmm. And I said yes to the call and I'm so glad I did. Just what's happened to me in my heart, I've been been changed. And I'm looking forward to even greater transformation. What was it like? Because I know you had to believe God for your money on the trip. You didn't have money for the trip. I mean, for those that say, well, how can I come up with my money for the trip? You know, the missions trip. I, ha I didn't have money for the trip. I spoke, I spoke to people that I knew. My church just fully supported everything I was doing. When they heard the call and they saw what some of the things that Dr. Bailey was doing and they heard what we were doing here, they couldn't help but respond. I had other friends that I sent letters to and the money just started pouring in. I had more than enough to come here. And I had nothing when I started out. When Dr. Bailey told us about it, I was like, where's the money coming from? But God just provided. God just And a I'm short not, amount of time too, short right? Of time. I was here two, three weeks. And it was done. I had it. So this is GLTC in action.